Howdy folks, one fun thing that I've been enjoying recently has been suggestions from you, the loyal viewers, and how looking into one cocktail can sort of lead you along to discover another cocktail. Each more interesting than the last. And we're feeling that effect today, for sure. We've got three pretty strange pina coladas to uh, try out today. Let's go. Now, for pina colada, you definitely need two things. You'll need cream of coconut, which we just made last week for the baiju drinks we were making. Uh, if you want to see how we made cream of coconut, go back and watch that video. And the second thing you'll need is pineapple juice. Now, you can use canned pineapple or bottled pineapple, but fresh pineapple tastes a lot better. So I went to the store and I got myself a pineapple. Juicing a pineapple could be a little intimidating, but I've got one of these standing juicers and it actually juices a pineapple really well. To juice the pineapple, you basically just chop the top and bottom off. You gotta peel off the skin and then just cut it into a chunk that'll fit inside the juicer. Two quick tips if you're gonna buy a pineapple. One is twist the fronds off the top and you can save the fronds for garnish later. Any fronds you're not gonna use immediately, you can put in the freezer. And number two, you can use the skins and the pulp and any leftover pineapple that you don't need for juice to make a pineapple syrup or pineapple shrub or a tapache. There's a lot of great uses for pineapple skins um, and there's a lot of flavor still left in there. I'm gonna throw a few pineapple hunks, the skins and some pulp into a container. I'm just gonna cover it with sugar and we'll see what it looks like in a couple of days. Now, I'm not being very precise about this. Normally, I would start with an equal weight of sugar and fruit, but I'm just gonna throw some sugar on and see what happens. No rules! After a couple of days, the sugar had worked its magic. I strained it out. I got a delicious pineapple syrup. A thousand household uses. So, our first drink was suggested by loyal viewer Espin Wyborg. They called it the Trinidad Colada. I found it on Cocktail Virgin as the Angostura Colada by Zach Overman. Now, this combines two things that I've been thinking about lately. One is drinks with a lot of bitters in it. We just talked about that a couple weeks ago. And cream of coconut, which I also just made last week for our Baiju drinks. Now, this drink is essentially a pina colada that uses Angostura bitters as the base of the drink. Um, should be pretty wild. Let's go. We did it, the uh, Angostura Colada. Let's give it a taste. Holy cow, that is remarkable. It is sweet up front. You get a lot of that pineapple and coconut right away. Later on, as you sip it, the Angostura comes through with sort of, I don't know, cinnamon, you know, the sort of spicy cinnamon notes. It's not too bitter. It's a little bitter on the finish, but um, you know, the, the and it's not, super rummy, although it has that nice Worthy Park banana-y fruitiness um, mixed in there as well. That's that's pretty amazing, actually. I'm, I've never had that before, and that is really good. I'm gonna have another sip. It really comes in waves. You get like this coconut mm. pineapple thing at first, and then that bitter uh, Angostura finish, 
a little bit tart from that lime and that rum just sort of mingles in there. Yeah, that's, that's a winner. Now, moving on to drink two. Loyal viewer Crisis in Clay suggested a number of drinks that they uh, found on Cocktail Virgin, which all sounded amazing, but included in that list was the Angostura Colada, which obviously we just made. If you go to the Cocktail Virgin page for Angostura Colada, he suggests a number of other drinks that are colada variations, basically, other sorts of pina coladas. Now, among those other suggestions was a kind of a weird sounding mashup of a pina colada and a Negroni, if you can believe that. It's called Amaro de Coco, and it's by Ryan Lotz, and it goes like this. Now this drink gets it's supposed to get a float of blackstrap rum on top, which I don't have any blackstrap right now, so I'm using a OFTD. Should be pretty fun, pretty delicious, so let's give it a taste. I mean, you can definitely smell that rum on top, so I think that's the whole point. Again, this drink is so complex and delicious, but again, mm. sort of like the last one, you get pina colada at first, you get Mm. Uh, pineapple and coconut at, at the beginning of the sip, but then the bitter flavors all come later. So this is like drinking a pina colada and then a Negroni, which is pretty, pretty cool, actually. I mean, I, you know I love a Negroni, um, and a pina colada is just so sweet and delicious, but then the you don't, you're not left with a sweet feeling, you're left with this sort of bitter Negroni feeling, but the whole thing is very creamy, and so it's got a lovely texture. Uh, this is, this is terrific. Okay, that was two banging pina coladas with bitter twists, but the last one is gonna be much more simple, uh, much lower in ABV, and a, a little bit of a change of pace. I also found this on Cocktail Virgin, referenced in the Angostura Colada post, and as soon as I saw the name, I said, I'm making that for sure. It's called the Chanar Colada. Now I'm going for the lower ABV version posted on Cocktail Virgin. I did a quick Google search and there's some other things with similar or same names that have more rum and lime in it, but this is, I'm gonna go for this very simple version because I trust Yarm. Now this drink was invented in 2015 by Steve Yamada of Latitude 29, a famous tiki bar. And it is supposed to be made in a, like a big batch. You put a whole big batch in a, a blender, blend it up. I'm just gonna make one just so I can see how it is. But if you want to make it at home, you could make it for a party, put a bunch of it in a blender, and you know, whip it up. I'll leave the link down below to the cocktail version thing. Anyway, let's, let's try it. We did it, the Chinar Colada. Let's give it a taste. Chinar is great. Obviously, I love mm. Chinar. Um, but Chinar and pineapple mm. is a really nice combo, like that sort of caramel and pineapple combo, delicious. A little sweetened from the coconut. The coconut gives it a little bit of a creaminess, but I mean, it's not super coconutty, it's more pineapple-y, obviously. There's a lot more pineapple juice in this, but 
I mean, that's delicious. I think my takeaway from this is that you should put chinar in any drink that has pineapple. Like if you want to make a regular pina colada, just add a little cheeky uh, chinar to it. And um, that would probably improve things a lot and give a little complexity, a little bitter finish. Delicious. I mean, this is low ABV, a little bit sweet, I guess, but I mean, you could, you could drink a lot of these if you're on vacation and, you know, not get too drunk. All right. All right, there you have it. Three delicious pina colada variations that you can try at your house if you want to. If you have any cocktail suggestions, put them down below. If you have any nature footage, you can email it to me. If you have any questions or anything else you want to know, put it down in the comments. In the meantime, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.